Hi everyone, welcome to the introduction of the iOS app pen to bow pen to bow is a violin bow MIDI controller using the Apple Pencil on the iPad Pro. You can use the Apple Pencil to control the sound of a violin as if it were a real bow. Let me show you a short demo. As a comparison, this is what you would get if you would try to play repeated notes just with a keyboard and a modulation wheel. Back with a bow. Please note that pen to bow only works with the Apple Pencil and thus requires an iPad Pro. Pen to bow is what we call an infinity bow controller because it can not only detect linear motion like this, but also circular motion like that. Circular motion allows you to extend the bow that normally would be limited in length. Without this option, while playing on a keyboard you would need to constantly think about bow changes in order to prevent the bow from running out. A violin player trains for years to obtain an intuition for how many notes can be played with a single stroke. For a keyboard player this turns out to be quite difficult, or at least for me it is. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to try to play the main theme from Dvorak's 7th Symphony only using linear bow movements. Did you hear what just happened? I was forced to make bow changes and the intensity of the violin dropped. But that was not what I wanted. I should have performed a bow change a bit earlier, but my brain was preoccupied with the melody and the control of the pen. For me, thinking about the limited length of the bow on top of everything else is just too much. Pen to bow solves this issue by allowing you to extend the bow through circular motion. You can start, for example, with linear motion, continue into circular motion, and then back to linear. Pen to bow correctly recognizes the intended bow changes. Take a look at the colors. Red represents up bows, and blue represents down bows. Up, down, up, down, up, keep up, down, Keep down, keep down, up. Now let me try to play the same uh, theme from Dvorak, but now also using circular motion. I hope I can convey the difference in this video. For me, it's much easier to play. 
Also, circular motion to me is very natural. I even prefer it over linear motion. Pen to bow uses all the sensors of the Apple Pencil. It generates a total of four continuous MIDI controllers, velocity, force, tilt, and orientation. Velocity is the speed of the bow and is reported in a bipolar fashion. Make sure to activate this option in the virtual instrument. In this case, the Swarm Violin. Here is the option. Bipolar means that values of 63 stand for no bow movement, whereas values be above 63 represent up bows, and values below 63 down bows. Force is the pressure that is applied to the pencil tip. Tilt is the angle from the side, and orientation is the angle from the top. You can get more information about that by pressing the help button on the app. In my current setup, I assigned force to vibrato. You might ask, why not bow pressure? Vibrato needs to be more finely controlled than bow pressure. Pencil pressure allows for more precise control than tilt or orientation. I assigned tilt to bow pressure and orientation to position on the bridge. Of course, you can customize the controller assignments to your liking. Considering the placing of the iPad, I think putting it in front of the keyboard like this is probably better than placing it on the keyboard further away from the body. In this configuration, the hand rests very comfortably and I can easily play for an hour or more without any pain or fatigue. The way to hold a pencil is probably a personal preference. This is what works best for me. Keep in mind not to rest the elbow or wrist on the table as it, this would make it difficult to perform circular motion. Also make sure to clean the surface of the iPad. Residual dirt can cause jitter when moving the pencil. I hope I could convince you that pen to bow is a practical violin bow controller. It can be purchased on the Apple App Store. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.